restrict an errant mind before it becomes fractious and divided. Can two enemies occupy the same body? For the first one. Here you are, Corvo, within the high walls of your enemy's stronghold. What an impressive sight you make on your way to face the Lord Regent. How will you end his reign? By blood or by truth? He's not an easy man to get close to. If the Empress had been as well guarded, how different things would be now. Is it just revenge you're after, or do you have another plan in mind? Will you restore things, make it all right again, and crown a new empress? Or will you send them all howling into the void? Either way, I expect a good show.
wander into foreign lands only to return with their souls If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring prosperity to the city, to rid us of those scoundrels who waste their days in filth and drink without homes or occupations other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil. And it was a simple plan. Bring the disease-bearing rats from the Pandisian continent and let them take care of the poor. The plan worked perfectly at, at, at first, but the rats, oh, it was as if they sought to undo me. They hid from the catchers and bred at sickening rate. Soon it didn't matter, rich, poor, all were falling sick. And then people began to ask questions. The Empress assigned me to investigate whether the rats had been imported by a foreign power. I knew the truth would come out eventually, so there was no other way than to be rid of her and take power myself. She had to die, you see. She had to die. Bringing about the death of an empress is not an easy thing. But it gave me the chance to attack the plague with some real authority. Quarantines, deportation of the sick. But there's always some idiot woman searching for her wretched lost babe, or some sniveling workman searching for his missing wife. And then quarantine is broken. But you can see how my plan should have worked. Would have worked if everyone had just followed orders. your weapons this is treason it's over Hiram your head will roll for what you've done no I'll make you rich men if you just let me go I beg you you nearly destroyed this city no amount of money will undo that get him ready for the walk to Coldridge prison yes sir
Is it all done? You ready to go back to the hound pits? Thanks to you, Corvo. All right, let's go. changes makes me uneasy to tell the truth a small fry like me always gets the worst of it but maybe it's going to be different now the lord regent is gone the abbey has a new high overseer i'm guessing our work is almost done the others are in the bar no doubt waiting to raise a glass in your name me i think i'll just linger out here if you don't mind reflect on things while we have a moment Congratulations, Corpo. Corpo! Everyone says you did something good tonight. He's done it. Word is spreading all over the city. The tyranny is over. By this time tomorrow, Emily will be on the throne. After that, we'll clear your name and put everything we've got into rebuilding the city. I wish there were more of a city to rule. Most of Dunwall is rats and corpses. The Admiral was right, I'm afraid. Corvo, you did your job while the rest of us sat on our asses. Our work starts tomorrow. Tonight, rest easy. Tomorrow, we crown an empress. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. So we hire mathematics. When things are better, I will suggest my lord fund a memorial to them. Everyone deserves to be remembered. One of of the course strangers. not, no. We'll leave him tomorrow, aren't we? I don't know if I want to go back to the tower. It's true, she died. I can be impressed from anywhere, right? Maybe Trust a ship. Me, Callista. I wonder what the histories will say. I must remember the crime. Do you need me to put something together for you? something together for you?
Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, something terrible, Corvo. But I only gave you half the poison. They were watching me, and it was all I could think to do. I think you're strong enough to survive that. I'll put you on a raft, and then I've got to ship out myself before they find out I've gone against their wishes. Snakes. They'll want to do the same to me as soon as I've outlived my uses. Hopefully you'll wake up and find your way out of this cursed city. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poison. Tivian stuff. And it's your work. You'll live. That's up to doubt. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shovel blade into your empress. But I don't know you, who you are, and who you fight for. You're a mystery, and I can't allow that. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. <laughs> 